guys so I thought it'd be really fun today to give you a thrift haul now everything I'm going to show you is all my entire thrift collection that is all home decor um, I used to have a much larger collection but when we moved from California to Tennessee we actually got rid of a lot of our stuff including a lot of things that I had thrifted and now I am rebuilding that collection back up so I'm just going to show you what I have some was thrifted in California and some was thrifted here in Tennessee. So first up we have this really large basket. I saw this at the thrift store in California and I had to get it because it was only eight dollars. Now this is a picnic basket but we use it for all of our sewing stuff. So all of our threads go in the top. This thing comes out and then it's just a all the rest of our sewing stuff is in here. Um, and I love this thing because it's so great and has a purpose. I actually bought this with the intent of putting all the diaper stuff in here but I realized that it just wasn't practical. Next up is another basket. Um, this is like an apple basket, and I got this here in Tennessee. This was one of my first thrifts here, and I got it with the intent of using it for a toy basket, but um, it has the staples in it, and it did seem like it was probably a good idea for my daughter to be playing with this because she could possibly get hurt. So I actually use this as a mini laundry basket for, you know, the socks that would normally get thrown on the floor or um, things of that nature. Next up, I have these plates. Um, I actually, funny story, when I saw this at the thrift store, I only bought one. And then, but I loved it so much. But I was like, oh, it's just gonna be one nice little beautiful plate for me that I like, that I can put, you know, special things on. But I loved it so much that when I went back to the thrift store the following week and they still had the rest of the set of these little plates, I got the entire set. So I have multiples and it's just, I just love that floral, herby floral kind of 70s look to it. Um, it has my favorite color. Next up I have this vase. Now this vase is a set of dishes that with the same pattern but um, that I found d at different times going to the thrift store but this is the only piece left that I have um, I might have one or two more pieces back in California in a box I don't know for sure though but this is the one piece that made it with us to Tennessee but it does have some cracks in it so now I just use it as a decor piece instead of an actual picture I do need to get an actual pitcher that I can use as a pitcher instead of just decor. But I, I love this one so much. This basket is great because it's square and it's also falling apart because I use it a lot. Um, but this is fantastic because it is the perfect size diapers. It is literally the perfect size. Um, I'll probably use it for something else later on when we are no longer using diapers, but for now it is literally perfect. Okay, the last two baskets that I have, and I'm I'm a basket hog, except I don't put them on my wall, I actually use them, um, are these two. I found these here in Tennessee, I needed baskets. <laughs> are you filming yourself? Yeah, I'm doing a video. So I have these two baskets that so I can put the little knick-knack stuff in here this one is perfect for the 
empty cans that still have partial part bits of tobacco instead of having all the tobacco cans lying around our house. And this is just, you know, for the free-for-all stuff that normally just clutters up shelves. They can actually has a spot, it has a home, and it makes it look way, way nicer. I also, it's just, does that just look so good together? Uh, let's see here. Next thing is this. I don't remember when I got this. I just know I've had it for a very long time and it's a thrifted piece. My mom may have gotten this for me. I don't totally remember. And I have this guy, which is used for a our, our tap or piece rags in the bathroom. I'll probably wind up rotating this out and use it for something else eventually just because I get tired of things sitting in the same place all the time and it freshens up the space to change it out. So, but that's what that is currently used for. Found this mug here and I use it about every single day for my coffee and my tea. It's very pretty. I got rid of all of our mugs back in California when we moved, again, we could only take a limited amount of stuff and I knew that I could just re-thrift stuff and start over. And so I used to have a big thrifted mug collection. If I was gonna collect something, I wanted it to be practical and something that I actually used. And so mugs was the thing I started collecting. And now I had to start over, which I don't mind because I've already gotten a little bit of a collection. Um, which I'll show more of in a second. But first is this canister, which has this little doohickey here. You can see this little doohickey, which you put a little spoon on or scoop. And I used to have more of these. They're great for all sorts of stuff in the pantry, but this one in particular is the only one that's left, and it holds our coffee grounds. So very practical and useful and it just looks nice instead of having a coffee can. Now this piece, isn't it beautiful? I think it's so pretty. Um, I'm trying to see if it has any markings on it. Um, it's got these really beautiful carvings. It's a book stand, you can put cookbooks on it. We currently put um, a Bible on it and set it on a stand by our couch. And I got this off of Instagram from other thrifters who resell stuff from a girl who actually lives here in Tennessee, um, who is just an absolute sweetheart and has just a beautiful Instagram page. If you want to know who she is and go check out her stuff, she her name is The Thrift Hippie, and she has excellent stuff. This is one of the things that I got from her, my first ever purchase from an Instaga Inst Instagram thrifter, and I love it. I actually have always wanted one of these, and so when I saw her selling one for actually a really, really, really good price, I had to snag it. Okay. Now the next three items are things that are thrifted, but I didn't personally thrift them. They are actually were thrifted and gifted to me. So I'm going to show you those really quick and then that'll be the end. Okay. So the first up is this mug, uh, which is just really simple, which is great. I can add it to my mug collection that I am re- building. It's tall, it's nice, it's blue and brown, neutrals. If you can't tell, I love neutrals. And then lastly are these two mugs that I have actually, I've been eyeing ones just like this on Instagram and I've been thinking about getting them and then they were gifted to me. They're little stackable mugs that have this really pretty design on them. It's very 70s. I like a lot of 70s-ish decor. 
colors, earth tones, and all the stuff. Um, so yes, that is my thrift collection. I'm amazed that my daughter has not woken up. Amazed. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a blessed day. Bye, guys.